Hey y'all, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? I'm gonna start titling these videos, but I'm just sitting here smoking, being my true authentic self. I'm gonna come up with a title for them so y'all know what it is. <laughs> but no, seriously, yo, like seriously, seriously. I just wanna get into it with y'all, talk a little bit, smoke a little bit, just be myself. This is who I am about 90% of the time. Like, if I'm not filming OnlyFans content, ugh, it's fucking flying here, bro. If I'm not filming OnlyFans content, then I'm pretty much like this. Like, I don't be doing too much. Go to the gym, work out. I be chilling at home because <coughs> listen <coughs> one thing I noticed like I've been an entrepreneur for two years now okay so I've spent a lot of time by myself like a lot of time I've spent so much goddamn time by myself y'all <coughs> it's, it's crazy like It's fucking crazy. And they be saying, like, you got to be by yourself. You got to become comfortable with yourself so that you can grow, develop, see things for what they really are. And I can honestly say, <coughs> excuse me, I can honestly say that I've done that. I've been seeing things for what they really are. I've been seeing people for who they really are. i just be seeing everything. And I think part of the reason, well, a lot of the reason, I'm not even going to say part of the reason, a lot of the reason as to why I'm so confident in myself and I have high levels of self-esteem is because I've taken that time to just be myself, be with myself, and be comfortable in my own skin. I wasn't nearly this confident when I was working a job. Like, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. Like, I was insecure, young, and just a hot-ass mess. For real. Like, a real hot ass mess. Like, I would make something drama. Like, it could have just literally been the way someone said hello to me. And I'm going to make that shit drama. Like, I don't know. But, like I was saying, like, I would just make stuff drama. Like, because I didn't have shit else to do. Like, I was bored, you know what I'm saying? I be bored now sometimes, but it ain't that type of bored. Like, I was like seeking validation bored. Like, I was insecure bored. It's not the same type of bored. Now, I'm bored but at peace. Like, sometimes I just be bored like, should I go here for lunch or should I go there? But back then, listen, I was a totally different type of bored. And that's why I would do that shit. That's why I would do that shit. But. I say all that to say, like, being, like, out and about with people, I be peeping a lot of shit. Like, I don't know what it is, like, it's like people always gotta lie. And I be wondering, like, are they lying because they, like, it's just weird, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could go meet someone for lunch or whatever and they just start lying, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, this shit just be fucking weird. And I don't know why I didn't pick up on it before. I think maybe because I wasn't too like comfortable with myself. So that's probably why I wasn't picking up on it because I was just as insecure as them. But now, now that I've had time by myself and I've spent a lot of time being by myself and getting comfortable with myself, I realized like a lot of people's vibrations and their auras just be off like it's like a lot of people <clears throat> a lot of people are battling shit like they are battling some internal demons like seriously like I'm not even trying to be funny like a lot of people are really battling some internal demons and so <clears throat> the person that you see in front of you isn't really that person it's the person 
of the result of whatever they're dealing with. Does that make sense? Like, listen, listen, listen. A lot of people are insecure as hell. Okay? So I say that to say, like, <clears throat> don't ever take anything personally of how someone treats you. Whether it's at work, whether it's your friend, whether it's someone you talking to, fucking family member, whoever it is, cashier at the grocery store, like, you can't take nothing personally about what people say or do to you because of everything that they're battling with internally. Like, it's real. Like, have y'all ever seen, like, listen, people will fucking, man, I can just tell y'all from experience, like, a lot of people out here are fucking crazy. And that's why I like to stick to myself. That's why I like to stay at home. I stay at home because my house is peaceful. It's it's pure. You know what I'm saying? It's positive. It's like I got fucking flowers everywhere. I got plants. Like I light my candles sometimes. Like I don't bring negative energy up in here. Like you cannot come up in my space with negative energy because when I allow people to do that, then <clears throat> you don't have negative energy. Energy, listen, one thing about what I know about being a, you know, biologist, I guess, energy is never, like, destroyed. It's only transferred. <laughs> <coughs> Seriously. Energy is transferred, okay? That shit is real. So, don't let people near you who got negative energy and demons on them. Like, don't let those people near you. Because I'm telling you, they will transfer their negative energy to you. That's what people do. And the reason why it's done is because people have not taking the steps to heal from whatever it is that they're battling like that's real shit like i told y'all people have fucking demons and snake eyes on them outside not literally but figuratively and because they really do like people will spaz out on you because they stressed out about how they gonna pay this bill and that bill so don't take they spazzing out don't take that as a oh, why are they spazzing out on me instead take it as I really hope they get through what it is that they're dealing with. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, people are so fucking fake, yo. Like, the shit is fucking crazy how fake people are. And you wanna know why they're fake? <clears throat> the reason why people are fake like that is because they're not at peace with themselves. They're not comfortable with themselves. Okay, so you might be trying to figure out why you and your friend can have good conversation one day and the next day they like, they not the same. It's not the same energy. It's because it's fake. It's fake. Like they can't be constant every day because when they're, con they can't. It's like, it's, it's impossible. This shit keep going on. <clears throat> it's impossible for them. I'm telling you, you can't reach a certain level of success if you're not confident within yourself, okay? I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. There's so many things that I've battled internally these past few years trying to build my business that only I could get myself out of. <clears throat> and I know that some people may look at it as, oh, I have a perfect life or, oh, I'm so confident in this. And I do have a very blessed life. I am very confident. But I still struggle with stuff as well. Like, some stuff is just hard for me to talk about because I'm still, you know, dealing with that stuff. Like, weight has been something that's just been a challenge for me. And, you know, I'm finally starting to tackle it. But, you know, it's still hard for me to be 
100% open with you guys about some of the struggles that I deal with, you know, when it comes to my weight loss journey. So, <clears throat> but you, I have to suck it up. Like, I have to keep pushing. I can't, I can't, you know, be depressed for three weeks and not get shit done. You know what I mean? Like, I can't do that. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep trying to get to the next level. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to reach a certain level of success, you have to be confident in yourself. There were times when OnlyFans was slow and I'm like, well, shit, like, I got to... I gotta work harder, you know what I'm saying? I gotta push out even more content. Like I gotta do this, this, and this. Like I gotta, I gotta fix it. Yo, I've had people, I've had negative people who are battling themselves criticize my energy, criticize my positivity. Why are you always so happy? Why are you always smiling? Why are you always act like everything's all perfect? I don't act like everything's all perfect, but what I do act like is life is short. I act like life is short because life is short. So God damn it, I'ma make sure on this day I'ma be fucking happy. Period. Some people can't some people can't handle that energy. Some people can't handle that reasoning, that rationing, because some people don't understand how short life is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like life felt longer when I was working. Now that I get to do pretty much whatever I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. Life is quick as fuck. Like, I literally woke up on Monday, and by the time I went to sleep and woke up again, it was fucking Saturday. Like, I'm like, yo, where the fuck did the week go? That is real. Life is short, yo. Life is fucking short. So, I'm not, I'm not about to spend my energy worrying about somebody what they think about me what they saying about me like I'm not I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it and I really I really do empathize with people who struggle with that like I really do empathize with them because I couldn't even imagine now that I'm woke now that I see things for what they really are I can't even imagine what you're going through to where you can't even do what's best for you and your family without worrying about what others are going to say. Like, I can't even begin to understand how you feel because I couldn't even imagine that. Like, me being the person I am today. I really do feel for you. If you struggle with that, if there's something that you really want to do and the opinions of others is holding you back from doing it, like I really do feel for you because <clears throat> life is so short. And the fact that you hold yourself back every single day, year after year, because of what others are going to say about you or think about you like that is crazy to me like and it's, that's not even trying to be negative like that's just straight up crazy like bruh like <clears throat> I'm sorry like I really am sorry not I'm not sorry for you I'm just sorry I don't know what proposition word to use but I'm just really sorry like I really hope that you come out of that. Yo, this light is not gonna work, bruh. I'll be right back. And all I can say is I'm glad I don't live that life no more. If that's something that you, is that, if that's something that you're struggling with yourself, like I really hope and pray that you're able to find enough strength to get out of that and to start living your life for you. Like I really do hope that for you. I think sometimes too, <coughs> another thing I can say, once you become woke, once you see things for what they really are, once you see the play, once you see the scams in this world and you see how the government tries to keep you 
low and broke and miserable and tainted. Once you realize that, it's really hard to find people like you. At least in my area, I am looking to move because I don't want to feel like an outcast no more. <clears throat> it's also hard for me to meet people because I always stay in the house, but that's neither here nor there. Either way, like it is hard for you. It's difficult to connect with people who are woke with you and woke and not afraid. Like you got people who are woke, but they're still afraid to change what's going on because that's not the normal, that's not the normal thing to do. But when you are someone who's woke and is changing your life and is starting your business and you know getting your business off the ground and you're successful in your business and financially financially and all that it's really hard to find other woke people like you like me like that's very hard um because you start to see how people act and I think the reason why I like to stay to myself a lot is because I see how people act. Like, I see the jealousy, I see the shade, I see the negativity, I see it. Like, I see it. I fucking see it. Like, I'll go down and sit by the pool and I see it amongst people that they are they friends at the pool. I see it, I hear it, and I'm just like, wow. Like, I go to restaurants by myself and I'll people watch and Sometimes if I'm sitting at a table near someone, I can hear their whole conversation and I hear it and see it there. Like, this shit is fucking crazy. I don't, like, <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out if people were always this negative or if now because I'm woke, I'm seeing it. But it really be happening, y'all. Like, people really are so miserable in life <clears throat> and are walking around with fucking demons on them <clears throat> and they're projecting that want to their so-called friend like this shit is fucking crazy you know what i think the main reason why so many people are insecure is because of what's seen on social media like that's what it is it's what's seen on social media as to why people act like that like girls are insecure of their bodies men are insecure because they don't have a whole bunch of money and so everyone is just fucking insecure and playing fucking games with each other. That's what people are doing now. Because they haven't put in the time to work on themselves and heal from trauma. So they just walk around projecting that energy onto other people. Like... like that's just what people are doing these days and so me being who I am I try to stay clear of that shit for real and one thing I can say is you know, a lot of people don't like <coughs> women don't like it <clears throat> men don't like it when they can't control you everyone wants to have control over someone Everyone wants to feel like they have power over someone. They don't want to feel weak. So what's really dangerous is when you are so comfortable with yourself that absolutely nothing that someone can say to you or treat you will affect you. Like that is scary to a lot of people. Like ladies. Your girlfriends <clears throat> don't like that shit. Your boyfriends don't like that shit. Like, they don't like that shit, okay? I'm gonna just keep, they don't like that shit. If they not secure and happy within themselves and they walking around with demons on them and snake eyes, they don't like that shit. Now, they pure and, you know, they done the work to heal and then we not talking about them. We not even talking about them. That's not who we're talking about. But the people who have not done the work, <clears throat> they don't like that shit. Like, they don't like that shit, bruh. They don't like that shit. The fact that they can't control and manipulate you, 
they don't like that shit. Like, I'm telling you, <clears throat> that shit gonna piss them the fuck off. People who are insecure want to feel like you need them. Like you can't live without them. You can't function without the friendship, without the relationship, without the whatever. You can't function without them. If they don't feel that, they don't like that. Since they don't like that shit, don't be surprised. Don't be fucking surprised. And acting brand new, cause I'm putting you on game. I'm telling you, I'm telling you from experience. Don't be surprised that they ghost you. Don't be surprised that they just start a random fight with you. Don't be surprised if they don't want to be a friend no more, because they can't control you. They don't understand how. You are walking daily in peace. So many people in this world are not at peace. They are battling shit within themselves that you will never understand because you have not dealt with it or you have healed from it. It's one of those two things. So you will never be able to understand the shit that people are going through. You will never be able to understand why people treat you the way they treat you. You see them being nice to other people and doing all this stuff, but when it comes to you, they act brand new and they don't want to treat you the same way they treat other people. It's because they hate you. They are jealous of you. They are envious of you. It's one of those things because they are battling demons. Like They don't even like themselves. Listen. A lot of people don't even like themselves, bro. Like, if they don't even like themselves, what the fuck makes you think that they gonna like you? They not gonna like you because they don't even like themselves. They don't even love themselves enough to go and get some counseling and some therapy. So what the fuck makes you think that they gonna love you? A lot of people have egos. A lot of people are very prideful. A lot of people are battling demons like they have the devil on them like they are the devil like if you were to look up a picture of the devil like you would see they face they the devil like I'm dead ass serious they're the devil so since they're the devil you have to stay far away from those people now once they you know go through therapy and get their help then you know maybe you can continue a relationship with them but listen <clears throat> Protect your peace. Protect your sanity. Protect your spirit. Like, it's not too many happy, peaceful people in this world. It's not too many happy, peaceful people in this world. Like, it's not. I'm not even going to lie to you. Most people in this country are jealous, miserable insecure prideful egotistical narcissistic like that's what you that's what you're dealing with most of this population is that so if you not that you better hide yourself because they coming for you <laughs> them type of people are coming for you they want to destroy your peace don't you guys y'all know the saying misery loves company like that's because it's true like that's really true that's that's not a lie misery loves company and when you're not miserable but you're around a whole bunch of miserable people miserable people like they don't fucking hate you they don't like seeing people who not like them like i'm telling you you will have people who are mad because you are happy like yes People will be mad because you are happy. Why does bitch wake up with a smile on her face every motherfucking day? Yes. Like, that's real. Like, people people really do that, y'all. Like, I'm not bullshitting you. <clears throat> I'm not bullshitting y'all. Like, that's real. So, stay far and clear away from them people. 
understand that <clears throat> it's not you. If someone's treating you like that, it's not you. Like, it's not your fault. You didn't do nothing wrong, especially if you had no ill intentions. Like, it's not you. It's them. Like, it be them. So, protect your peace. Protect your spirit. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know what y'all thought about this. Like, just chilling with me. You know, I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Just being real with y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Listen, I be in the house because it's a lot of shit outside. Like, y'all see it on the news every day. Like, it's a lot of shit going on outside. So, I just like to stay in the confines of my apartment. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.